this is Larry Lursey. Welcome back to another edition of Photography Masterclass Magazine. Um, this month we're going to be looking at a new plugin from Topaz Labs called Topaz Impression 2. Now, Topaz Impression has been out for a little while and they've just come out with 2 recently, uh, which is the newer version of it. And Topaz Impression, what it does is basically it's a painting simulator. It goes through and adds brush strokes and gives your images a painted look. And there's actually lots of plugins that do this. But so many of them just have a very repetitive type look to them. It's just kind of throwing this texture on top, and it doesn't really look painted. What I like about uh, Topaz is th there's a lot more variety to the, the way the brush strokes are applied and the sizes and things. And it really gives it a much more painted type look. You know, you're still never going to replace, uh, if you know how to use like Corel Painter or something like that, and you're going in and doing all the strokes, brush strokes. Um, by hand one at a time. There's no way to replace that, but it certainly can get you in the ballpark really closely if you're wanting to do an underpainting or you just don't want to invest the time in learning uh, how to do it all by hand. You can get a really nice looking simulation uh, by using Topaz. And Topaz 2 basically uh, has a little bit better working engine and it, they've added a couple other cool little tweaks that we'll talk about as well. So got an, uh, an image right here. One thing that I did is I've made a second um, layer here. Let me just drop back here and start over. Um, I like having my Topaz on a second layer, uh, really a lot of plugins, so that one, I can take the effect back if it's too strong, and also I can remember what it was I did uh, if I want to uh, reproduce that look. So I'm gonna first thing do is drag this down, make a copy, and we'll call the top one Topaz. Uh, a lot of times if I can remember the name of the filter that I end up using, I'll come back in and change this to that name. Um, sometimes I get carried away and forget to do it, but at least I'll know it's a Topaz filter on top. So anyways, we've got the image here. I'm going to go right up here to Filter, Topaz Labs. You can see I'm a little addicted to the Topaz plugins, but uh, Impression 2. And we'll let it load up here, and I will kind of introduce you to what all we have here. So let's get a little more room here. Okay, so the main menu here, obviously the main screen right here you're seeing is the image, and it's already, if I hit original here, this is our basic image. You toggle that off and on right here, and, and it's gonna show you, I can zoom in, zoom out, but uh, I generally kinda like to see the whole thing, at least when I'm starting. And they've what they've done here, let me drop back into this, to, you, it will usually kinda default up here to like maybe the featured, where you've got an image here, and down the side, it's going to go ahead and suggest um, a whole bunch of these little filters. You can see the little bar going crazy at the top. It's loading them all up right now. So you've got some thumbnails over here to kind of give you an idea of uh, the different effects. There's a name over here, and uh, you can kind of see what it looks like. And as you click on one, it changes it over here. And so you may look at one and go, oh, that looks nice. And once you click on it, it's a little too much or not enough. And watch it kind of painting there. So, um, and you know, a few things to note. One is over here, you can hit the little favorites thing and it'll add it to your favorites. So if there's one that you use a lot or one you look at and you go, you know, this crayon scratch doesn't work for this image, but I like the look of it. You can um, click the uh, the heart there and then later on it'll, it'll be easier to find. But there's so many of these you'll go through and go, where was that one that I liked? And uh, it, sometimes it gets tough to find them. So, there's different layers or levels, I guess you'd say, to, to this. And the, the easiest one is if you don't want to get too technical at all, you just basically click down through here and try out as many of them as you want. And you, you may decide that's the one you want right there is Impasto 1. Uh, you click OK and it's all done. But I'm going to show you how to take it a little bit farther if you want to get uh, a little bit more daring and get under the hood a little bit with this is we can pick one of these. Let's try and pick one that we like to initially, like maybe this uh, oil sticks one or uh, I kind of like that impasto one. So let's let's start with that. So there is our basic right there. Now you've got a few different things you can do uh, to modify this, and I guess before we even start modifying, let's go through and and. Um, take a look at some of the other options you have up here. Uh, first, you, you click on this browse view and it's going to uh, bring out this where you've got the two columns. 
and uh, you can go to here where there's a lot more previews or you can do back to there's just one so decide if you want uh, one column the two columns here or a ton of them I generally like to go um, just the one column because I, I want to see this really big so I can see the brush strokes but um, if you're not really sure at all what direction to go that, that's certainly an option to uh, show more of them and there, there everything is categorized here uh, you know, impressionistic uh, pencil everything the favorites here are ones that we've marked as favorites and you can see here's the crayon scratch for some reason I put it on there twice but um, so I've got that in my favorites my effects is ones that you've worked on yourself and we'll kind of take a look at that in a minute and so one of the other thing that's kind of cool you can do is you'll notice up here when you click browse and you bring up kind of this extended you've got local community and both and what community is we click on that is uh, it will basically connect you to Topaz's user community and there's going to be all these thumbnails loading up that someone else has um, created and uh, they create it, upload it, share it and you can take a look at it and decide if you like it if you do you just click on the little download you can see here uh, how many people have downloaded these I guess and uh, so it's kinda cool that uh, you got all these people sharing their uh, their previews and they're not always going to be really well labeled they're not always going to work you know um, some of them are going to look terrible on the image that you're using but they probably looked great on a, a bowl of fruit or something you know so sometimes it's you get one that's a, a really nice one and uh, it's not gonna look good with with your image but there may be one that looks crazy but could look great with with the right image so just keep that in mind that the, it's not always going to work but it is a nice way to go through here um, through this community and if you want you can just put it on both and uh, to me it gets a little overwhelming there's so many of them so a lot of times honestly what I will do is stick with local and anytime I get to a point that I can't find one that, that's really doing it for me I will go back and uh, s switch to the community and go through and maybe pull up uh, some of the ones that the other people have done but again there's so many here already that uh, you know you can just pick your style you want impressionistic uh, go through decide what you want you want the Cezanne style um, let's go with the Cezanne one for now what we will do up here is once we've decided let's get our brows back down so it's not taking up so much space once we've decided on it we can go ahead and mark that as a favorite because I I seem to use this one a lot and now we're looking here we can go in here to the edit and here's where things get really crazy you've basically got all these categories you've got stroke and what stroke does is allows us to go through and change all kinds of things the shape of the brush the the brush size you know we can drop it down and have um, smaller brush size you can change to a totally different type brush and just watch it change in front of you and um, that to me is what's really fun is going through and, and toying with these and watching it make changes uh, as you tweak things a little bit decide whether you like it don't like it and so all kinds of things to do pretty self-explanatory here in the uh, in the brush strokes category then what we can do is we can go down to let's minimize that and go into look at color colors you're gonna go here and add uh, you can bump up your saturation take down the saturation, uh, change the overall hue, a lot of things like that um, if you're really trying to color shift the image. Lighting is where you're going to go through and uh, work with your highlight shadows. You want to make it a little more contrasty. I think sometimes that will help with some of the paintings. And uh, I already now I think I, I like this better than where we had it. So uh, I think we're heading in the right direction. A lot of times I'll just go through and tweak some of these. Um, Texture here, you've got sort of you're adding this underlying texture, and you'll see it more on others. Um, let's try and click on this one here, and uh, it, you'll you'll see it more in how those brushes go on to the image. That you'll see a lot more texture in some than the others. So uh, texture is certainly one to play around with. You can change the color uh, of what is is behind it on the texture. So again, there's just a million things to, to work with on here to customize, but one of the new things they've added here that I want to get down to is um, is masking. And the masking is really cool. We'll go over here to, to brush and basically like it sounds, uh, it allows you to go through 
and mask out uh, the effect. And uh, much like just regular masking in Photoshop, you know, you've got the size of the brush, how hard it is, uh, how strong it is. Right, right now it's at full power, but say we can bring it down. And the time that I will use this uh, often is to go through and say I want I want to draw attention to this door, so I want there to be less painted effect on it. I can go through, and I'm doing a little too much here, but you can come in here, take down that effect a little bit, and uh, takes that effect off of it much more, so we can go back and see it looks a little more like what it did, and uh, so it allows you to kind of dial back if there's certain areas that you think the effect is a little too much. You could um, take this down to a, a smaller number. Say you don't like it as much on those steps. <clears throat> you can just kind of mask that out a little bit until it's toned down to more where you think is is where you'd like it to be. And so you you make all that work in there. And so now it still says Saison one. You got the little asterisk here because we've made a lot of changes to it. And what I would do at this point is if I like this, I might call this. Um, let's hit save the effect. And I'm going to call it Saison uh, 5, just so I know that it's it's one that I did. I'm going to call it uh, Impressionistic. You could put uh, words in here like this. I'm going to go ahead and set it as one of my favorites. Hit OK. Now, uh, once we're done working on this thing here, I'm going to go ahead and hit OK, which is going to drop us back into Photoshop. And here we are with our image. Now one of the things I want to try and remember to do right now is uh, I will go back here and I'm going to put IMP for that for me is Topaz Impression uh, and then I'm going to put what do I call that? Saison 5. So now I know if I like this, you know sometimes you get one where you, you really like it, you go back later and you go there's a different image of that doorway I like better but I want the same effect. Now I don't have to fish around trying to remember how I did it. I can just bring up another image, bring in that same plug in and off you go. Uh, so there we go, there's the before and the after. We'll get in a little bit closer. And you can really see here where we masked away the effect. If you look at how much brush stroke there is here and even on the side here versus in the doorway, we've really masked out a lot up in here. So um, that's what we were doing with the mask. I'll, I'll show you one other thing you can do just to kind of make things uh, even more textured or add a little more depth to it is let's say that um, you want this area back here to go even more abstract that you want it to be really heavy-handed brush strokes but you kinda like what you have here what you could do we go ahead and make a copy again and we'll just change this to TPZ just so we know that it's the new one go back in And now what we're going to do is just look for an effect that that we like how it looks in that back section back there where it's um, we want it to go heavy uh, impressionistic look. So let's just kind of go through here and and we're going to look for something that is in the same style uh, as what we already have, but has a, a stronger effect back back there on the back. And I guess a, the easiest way to do it, let's go to the original. So this is where we're sitting right now. Um, that's a lot more effect. So what we're trying to do is find one that's got a little less effect, um, but probably still one of the Saisons. I think that might work. Let's look at the before and after. Okay. So then what we want to do is we want to bring it off of this part right up here. So we'll go back to our masking. Get a brush, bring it down to about 75. And we'll just clean a lot of it off this area here. So that we're mostly just leaving it back there on the back. Let's get this a little bigger. Clean this off of here. Okay, and this was what was the Saison 1. So we'll go ahead and label this. We know exactly what we did. So now you can see that we've got that underneath. The door doesn't change as much, but the back 
side here really gets a lot more thrown out of focus. Now you might like that, you might not. You could also decide that it's a little bit too much of a, a drastic difference and bring down your opacity a little bit. But now it still kind of looks like it all goes together, but your attention's more drawn here. Uh, it's a little more in focus and you've thrown that out. So um, that's a way you would use masking there. And I think that between using the masking and then using that user community, which can bring up so many different images or styles that other people have come up with, it really is a great source of inspiration. And as you can see, it's really simple to use. If you don't want to get buried in all of the how to work it, how to make the change the brushes, you just use the presets. There's so many presets you'll never run out, especially with the new with people uploading new ones all the time. But uh, if you're the type that likes to get in there and get your hands dirty, you can really tweak and get exactly the type look you're looking for. So uh, again, the Topaz Impression 2, really cool plugin. Hope you'll give it a try. Just go to Topaz Labs. And, uh, and look it up, and there'll be a link in the uh, description for you to get a, a free trial if you want to try that out. So anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed. hope you will go in and uh, give Topaz Impression 2 a try. It really is a lot of fun to play with, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.